Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to what I can only call a very special The Wicked Wild Campfire Tales. Special for many reasons. Uh, but before we get into it, let's, uh, let's see who we're talking to tonight. Um, typically, I do my boy Jeff, but I'm going to move you down one page, Jeff. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We got, we got a, a birthday girl. The day this is releasing, it's her most magical birthday. She turns 14. Hey, Jamie, how are you doing? You had to make me a creepy age. 14. Oh, wow. Yeah. Is 14 a creepy age? To be taught hanging with you guys. I think yeah, we need slow. to assess the things we talked creepy. about. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't make you cre- Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I meant that makes 20, you creepy. 24? Yeah, perfect. Okay, great. perfect. 24. Oh, it, feel, it feels great. Yeah. Hey, Jimmy, can I ask you a question? Mm-hmm. With it being your birthday and all, right? If If you could find the perfect, I don't know, let's just say the perfect cryptid. What what are you finding? Who, who's going to be your new cryptid buddy? Um, uh, something maybe a little sad. Okay, you and want a sad? You want something sad following you around? I want something sad following me around. Yeah, yeah. Is that some kind of weird? Because like you want to make fun of him, be like, "Haha, I'm not sad, you little weirdo." No, I want to make him feel better mm. about himself. Right, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, also, now is joining us is like every week, Jeff. How are you doing, Jeff? I'm doing pretty good. Jeff, can I ask you a question? Sure. If, uh, say you're walking through the woods, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, you happen to see, a, a, you're the one to discover an animal that you think is the coolest animal in the world. What is okay. it? What are you discovering? Probably an alligator with a birthday hat. <laughs> uh, so there's a, there's a shocking number of alligators with birthday hats on the internet <laughs> i just want to i just want to put that out there like a shocking number well way more ever, than you would think did of. you ever see that video of the deer who got its head stuck in a jack-o-lantern no, no. It, but it was the right side up it was delightful they got it off but it was it was delightful to see a deer with a jack-o-lantern helmet i feel like that's fake no nah, it was on the internet man it can't be fake <laughs> oh well you got me there <laughs> it's on the internet it can't yeah. be uh, also join us is uh dave how you doing dave doing well how are you oh uh, you know i'm all right hey dave can I ask you a question sure you find the newest and exciting creature it may be considered the coolest creature on the planet but you get to name it what primo name you given this new everyone's favorite creature uh you know just just for the meta of it I think a fun name for something like that might be uh, doing your mom. Do you kiss your mother with that mouth? <laughs> no, but I kiss yours. <laughs> hey, how dare you? How dare you? <laughs> totally Got softball, him. baby. Wow. <laughs> Just think about it. Just wow. think about you saw the legendary doing your mom out in the woods. <laughs> you get so then if it. someone's like, oh, hey, what's your favorite animal? You're like, doing your mom. <laughs> exactly. Wow. Yep. How old are you, 11? <laughs> Maybe you're 14. Speaking of animals, how is your mom doing? Oh, got her. Are you, are you trying to make me cry? <laughs> no. Lucky for you. Pure will, solid, badass. So I don't cry. <laughs> See what I did there? Instead of getting sad, got awesome. Anyways, uh, so as you know, you all may notice I've been asking about cool things. Uh, we're not talking about anything cool tonight. Actually, we're going to talk about lame. I thought we would talk about some of the, what I consider, the absolutely lamest cryptids I've ever found in my life. So for any of you thinking like this is going to be exciting, got him. Well, there went half the audience. Oh, uh, no, just hang on. Because <laughs> when I tell you some of these, because you may be shocked. What if I said? I'm excited. I consider all four of these lamer than Donkey Lady. There went the other half. <laughs> but, but you know what? I feel like we want. I feel like it's real tough life. to get rid of our audience just because this show is like a car wreck. You yeah. just can't look away from it. You know yeah. what I mean? So, hey, listen, yeah. for all of you that are on the fence right now, thinking you want to leave, I'm. You know what this show is going to entail? A little magic, a little phallic shapes, something a little weird, and something a little sad. What else could you want? That's why I gave you my answer. I've been looking forward to this one. I'm just saying this is by request here. Mm-hmm. I feel like you just described the four people that are on this show. <laughs> well, wh- <laughs> who, who is who? 
I, I will leave that up to the audience, but I mean, yeah, fair know. enough. I like to think I'm the magical one, but just turn that out there. Yes, um, you do. Not the, it's not the one I was thinking of. So, <laughs> am I the phallic shape? I think so. you're the little weird. <laughs> Dave's the phallic shape because he's, he's, he's going to push that as soon as it, as soon as it comes. Oh, right. Dave, Dave Halloweeners over there. You know, me, <laughs> you know me out there pushing the phallic. That's what it is. <laughs> yep. mm-hmm. I think that's what you do for a living, right? Hey, somebody's got to. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. All right. Wait, let's let's get in this. <laughs> my corner, Dave. Move along. <laughs> oh. Oh man. That's Sheila. a fair point. That's Could a you point. imagine <laughs> Sheila and Dave fighting in an alley mm. to be uh, the to be the phallic commander? Wait, I'm I'm gonna derail this already for a second. And Dave, Please do you do. have an umbrella in your drink? Yes. Oh, he does. And it's a tiki, and a tiki cup. mug. Yeah. Happy With a, birthday, Jamie. No, oh, thank you. Wait, does that tiki mug have a straw? Of course it does. Oh my god. And and I'll explain why because well, I've been drinking out of a mason jar. Have, first of all, wait, most wait, tiki drinks have straws. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. I've never had tiki drinks, so I didn't know. <laughs> but wow. uh You're I right. realized I've been drinking out of a mason jar for those that don't watch our YouTube channel. And then I realized every time I drink out of a mason jar, I lick my mustache and it's kind of gross. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> we all knew you were doing. If you that, want the non-straw that drinking, that's in the uh, OnlyFans <laughs> version of Dave's. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, all right, wait. Well, hey, let's uh, let's get in this list, shall we? Starting off with what I what I consider to be the lamest cryptid, we're gonna go to a little place called Loveland, Ohio, and the first lame cryptid we're gonna be talking about is the Loveland frog. Frog. Yeah, Loveland, Loveland frog. frog. Have any of you heard of the Loveland frog? No. Well, you are in for a treat. Okay. Uh, this cryptid was first sighted back in uh, 1955 when a traveling salesman was driving along the road. Uh, and he was in an area of Loveland, Ohio, uh, where uh, there's a creek, right? And as he's driving, he sees what he describes as a frog walking across the road on his back legs, standing about four feet tall. Uh, and he crossed the creek. And when he got into the field on the other side of the creek, he, from somewhere, pulled out a wand and started shooting sparks in the air. Was he singing Rainbow Connection while he did it? Uh, The the salesman (laughs) did not say he was singing anything. Um, The guy was flabbergasted, right? Shocked. He got to town. He's telling everybody, holy shit. I just saw a four foot tall frog running on his hind legs, shooting magic wand. I think I found the real wind in the willow. Then in the willow. Yeah. Remember that? Remember that cartoon when you were a kid? Wind in the willow, so, actually. not the frog that lives in the tree. Yeah, yeah, like, he's like uh, he's like the worst. <laughs> anybody? Does anybody else know what that is? Because I have yeah. no idea what that. No, you, the, I feel like Eli's wait, making it up. Dave, you don't know what the wind of the willow is? No. Like the frog lives anybody, in a willow tree. Anybody on the I think he's, knows what I that feel is. he's mixing names. No, it was a cartoon in the eighties. Why are you cornering me out? Everybody here doesn't know what you're talking. Because you always know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's the it's the wind in the willow. It was a novel uh, in the early 1900s, and then they made a cartoon in the 70s and 80s. Nope. Wow. Now that you're embarrassed, you should be embarrassed. Dave. Not one time. Is that a okay? You should be embarrassed. Dave. So <laughs> okay. what? Uh, so, anyways, back to this frog, right? This mat, this wand wielding Harry Potter frog. Uh, so after the salesman season goes to town, people in town go out and look for it. Don't find it. Then 17 years pass without 17. a sighting. 17 without a sighting of this frog, right? Then people start, are, as they're driving that same area, they start seeing this thing again, running across the street, running through the creek. This time, though, no one sees a wand. <laughs> they just see him running, right? Well, after a couple sightings, uh, and this, by this point, it's 1972, right? After a couple sightings, Another guy was driving along, happens to see what he thinks is this frog man 
whips a gun out because he was traveling with one, shot this thing multiple times, oh. killed it. Oh. oh, when they get when he like walks over to look at it, not a frog, a tailless iguana, which still confused people as to why there's a tailless iguana in Loveland, Ohio. Could not find the answer to where that thing came from. I don't think anybody knows. Wait, but, iguana's tails can come off, though. Right, but why is there an iguana in Ohio running oh. across the street? Okay. Gotcha there. Uh, not four feet I mean, tall. Was it like a pet store? Like, yeah, no, was someone no, no taking that out? No one knows where it came from. I mean, it's just an iguana. We're acting like it's like a unicorn yeah. that went running uh, across. But the- people are like, oh, it must have been this tail- tailless iguana we saw, right? But what happened after that? A few more sightings of this frog. <laughs> so that that's that's it. That's that's, that's it. the story. People just is see the it. frog still alive? Uh, people have claimed to see it running across the street on hind legs across the creek into the field. No one has ever. The only person to ever see it wield the wand though was the first guy who reported seeing it, the salesman. So they they killed it. <laughs> like well. That they thought the they that. they was thought this the whole did. story. They no, just dead well, now? pretty much. But they thought they killed. No, it, they killed the iguana. It was the iguana they killed? The frog. And is people still saw the frog after. Yeah. With his wand tucked well, away. No one ever saw his wand again. So I don't yes, know what he did with that away. wand. Maybe he lost it. I want. I heard frogs can tuck their wands away. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we all go through that phase. You're just trying uh, something. You're just yeah. curious. Mm. <laughs> I don't know about but like, that. I feel like if you're like, besides your two dirty jokes, I feel like if you're if you got a magic wand, why would you not use that thing all the time? That's what I'm saying. And of all the things that do with it, be super lame and shoot sparks. That's not lame. That's cool. No, this yeah, frog so, yeah. is Maybe double. A lot of judgment people. going on. Here. Listen, yeah. this yeah. frog is triply lame. You know why it's triply lame? One had a magic wand. All it did was fart out sparks once. It was like, nah, I better not use this anymore. Two, it's just a giant frog. And three, all it does is run across the road in the creek and just run into a field. Triply lame. That's all I'm saying. That's, that's all like is that that's all he has ever done. That's, yep, that's like, it. That's it. Wow, that is pretty lame. I mean, now, I, I have to ask though, right? Is he lamer than Donkey Lee? Uh no. Donkey Lady did stuff. No, yeah. she's lame. Yeah, I see what he's doing now, Jeff. He's trying to, he's an apologetic for the Donkey Lady. Yep. He's trying, mm-hmm. I'm not donkey apologizing, lady. but like the Donkey, donkey Lady, lady apologizes. No, she still wins. She, she's definitely the lamest. She put, the she lamest. like attacks people's cars. This frog don't. <laughs> exactly. He's just minding uh, well, you know his what? own business. All right. You know what? <laughs> he all seems right. like an all right guy. You know? Mm-hmm. How's he an all right guy? Anybody. He's hiding a wand that no one knows what he he's, did with. He's running around giving It's not a wand. It's a freaking sparkler. It was probably yeah. the 4th of July. <laughs> he's he's well, just, he's whimsical. Let me ask you a question, Dave. Is it more, is it less ridiculous thinking that a frog was running across the street with a sparkler than a wand? Is that what you're yes. implying here? Yes. It is less yeah. ridiculous. He picked up a sparkler. Where do you get the lighter? <laughs> Really? That's your somebody question. somebody yeah. probably lit it for him. I mean, what do you... Just somebody was like, oh, there's a big frog with a sparker. I'm going to light it for him. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Seems perfectly reasonable. You know what I don't understand? I bring this stuff to you guys, and you just like, oh, this is normal. <laughs> Completely normal. And you think I'm the weird one. All right. You know what? I mean, this guy back here, I mean, he's, you know. Look what? at him. He's fine. Does he yeah. have a wand? Probably. Nope. He put it away. Oh, right, okay. So. Where did he put it? He's not wearing clothes. Because he has a frog pocket. A frog pocket? Yeah, like mm-hmm. kangaroos. Yeah. Frog look, look at those eyes and tell me that guy's not just red stoned mm-hmm. going to 7 yeah. Eleven, <laughs> getting his big slushy. And th- he's like, a couple like, of jack oh, they, they sell sparklers here. He just grabbed a bunch of them. He probably that's where he ordered got <laughs> the lighter at. Exactly. 7 Eleven. 7 Eleven. All right. You know what? You guys justified this one. Oh, I, I guarantee- can't wait to justify the next I one. I can't. I guarantee you're not going to justify the next one. I bet you we will. This next crypto we're going to talk about, <laughs> it only affects certain type of people. Oh, I guarantee that. It on, the only people <laughs> that it. have seen it ty- uh, yep, yep. <laughs> are the people high on marijuana. Oh, all right. Oh. This cryptid has been seen since the 90s in Florida, around Oviedo, Florida. 
And the cryptid is called the Oviedo Dick Monster. <laughs> now, they've only seen it when it's high, right? But the thing Wait, so like, just on marijuana or any or any drug? Uh specifically the fo- marijuana. So, well, because here's where it gets crazy, right? All the folks that have reported seeing it have admitted they've been on marijuana. At and the some of them, when they saw it, even called the cops because they see this thing. So, like, you have to imagine, like, whatever they saw must have scared them enough that they're like, yes, I'm smoking the marijuana, but I need to report this thing. Were they all together when they saw it? Is that where we're going? No. No, no, no. There's, oh. been, there's been multiple sightings. Oh, okay. Um, so, uh, this creature the the best way they can describe it uh it has a it's a long slender creature that sometimes uh when it's walking it's like or typically when they first see it it's kind of slouched over but then once it realizes that it's been seen it will stand fully erect which they say is over seven feet tall uh when asked about its shape they all say it is the shape of a penis and it has two small round legs at what they call the base of its body. I love that this one isn't even trying. Like this is just exactly, straight up. Like yeah. they literally call it the dick, whatever. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. This well, is just... like and the reason it makes people who are scared of it because a lot of folks it's a big dick like that. But a lot of folks that have reported seeing it, and the ones that called the cops, have either been in like kind of um, off road. Uh, like parks, like kind of back and like near the woods, or they've actually been in the woods, typically Don't. either smoking weed or uh, some have been teenagers who got done smoking weed and then were in the process of becoming intimate when they happen to look over and this giant dick <laughs> monster is hiding in the bushes Seems watching like that them. might be exciting. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Do you have a dick monster watch you? I, they're getting intimate. Well, I mean, it depends, yeah. Yeah. Well, they, like I said, these folks, some of these people have called the cops because they've been so scared of seeing this thing. And like, they're like, yeah, we got drugs, but like, there's a giant <laughs> dick in the woods. You got a bigger problem here. Yeah. And Literally. that's it. That's its whole story. That That's it. It's also still alive. Is it still uh, seen? Assuming. Uh, I saw the, uh, the latest. You saw it? No. Oh, yeah. I saw it. No. The most recent reportings I saw, like articles I found, was people were claiming to see it back in like 2020. 2020. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, like over 20 years now. Wait. Oh, 2020. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I thought you said 2000. I don't know why. I did say 2020. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I, yeah, the 20 is what I missed. Okay. Oh. Uh, would you prefer if I said 2020? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah. No. The year of the COVID pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's probably why no one's seen it. You know, it, it just oh, it went into uh, hiding. Yeah, bunkered at home. You know, six foot. You know, quarantined. Yeah, quarantined. Can't really work remote as a dick monster. You know, so he's just like, I'll take a couple years off. I, you know what? Dick monsters are are monsters of the people. They like to be out there. Exactly. They don't work. They don't work remote. Like they're there's certainly no, social. Do you, they you, definitely. They you don't are use, uh, speaking with speaking as a man who. It's giving the appearance he knows a lot about dick monsters, which I, I, I there's not many of them, so I don't know where you got this knowledge. Wait, is there what only one of, of is there only one of them? Not, two? As far as I know, yeah, okay. yeah. Mm. Just this thing that's kind of slouched over. Oh, I guess that's most Shuff, cryptids, right? Shuffling it's through like the bushes, one, not like comes that. erect to watch you smoke weed and make out with your uh, significant other. Sounds about right. Is that a picture of the dick monster? That is, yeah. I assume so. I mean, <laughs> all right, all right. What well, else could it be? Just well, a pretty side accurate. Note. Don't type in just dick monster into your search. <laughs> <laughs> much, that's a little. That's, that's a little public service yeah. announcement. Like yeah. <laughs> that. That seems. Uh, that seems a little. That seems like a rookie mistake. Yeah. 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 Put it. In, put it in quotes with uh, sure finger porn. Uh, yeah. 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 Jesus mm-hmm. Christ. Hey. So I. I gotta ask. Lamer than donkey lady? <laughs> no, because this is just a pervert and a dick. Why is he a pervert? Yeah, he can't help his he, shape. He watches people. Yeah, that's make fairly out. That's in his Eli. nature. That's in his nature. That's I mean, yeah. that's just to what, stand like, in the bushes. What do you expect him Wait, to do? Would you make the same argument for a peeping tom? But he's not a peeping tom. He's a yeah. dick monster. 
Is how people are even watching people make out? Is, is this he a pervert? Yeah. Is Cupid yeah. A pervert? In the Yeah, yeah, I would say maybe. He <laughs> hides in the bushes though. It's not like Cupid's like, oh I'm watching Marrow, you're in love now. Well, he this hides guy, in like, the bushes because he doesn't in the bushes. because he doesn't He's want people calling the cops on him and chasing him away. He's self-conscious, Eli. You're being ignorant. Yeah. Just saying. <laughs> you know? Why why do you have to put cryptids right down there. like that? I I I my mind's blown that you're defending a giant dick monster. What, what if he's just wait? like, I mean, what if he's just a tree? He's not yeah. really a dick. He's just, you know, what if he's just a tree monster with boulders? He, on, legs? he only appears to people that have loosened their inhibitions that uh-huh. are chemically fabulous at the moment. He lives in Florida, which makes perfect sense. That would be his natural <laughs> uh, yeah. ecosystem. It's, it's hot and humid down there. That's where he would want to hang yep. out. Okay. Okay. And he only shows himself by staring at you from the bushes where he doesn't want you to be seeing him. That's what he's trying to maybe, he's trying to warn people. Yeah. What if there's alligators? There's a lot of alligators. In How do you exactly. warn somebody from the bushes? Maybe he's the protector of young. Yeah. Guys. He's the, the watcher on the wall. You know? Exactly. Watch, the watcher in a swamp. I mean, you've got skunk apes down there. You've got meth gators. You've got yeah. all... Meth, meth yeah, heads. You know? Meth heads. Got, saying meth heads. got people eating people's face. Florida. He's just there. As a protecting force ask, hey, for love. You he's not the that. hero they want. He's the hero they need. Okay? okay. Cheers for, hey, <laughs> to the dick monster. Fair, fair enough. I just got back from Florida. I'm very upset you didn't give me this information before I went. <laughs> right, because, <bro>. like, <laughs> I, well, were you planning on smoking marijuana down there and like going in the forest? To go, yeah. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Why not? And, and she mm-hmm. certainly found lots of dick-shaped foods while she was down there. That she enjoyed. <laughs> well... What was it? A frozen banana or something? Oh yeah, that was in Miami. No, it was um, it was no, it was straight up um, a dick waffle. Oh, perfect. <laughs> See, like they were a, like, an area where they waffle shaped like yeah. a dick. Yeah. Like right? that was, they're blatantly like, oh, this is just a waffle. We made the shape like a dick. Yeah, that yeah. that was the whole thing. It oh, was, okay. It was yeah, Eli, Eli, maybe you shouldn't cast dispersions on other people's cultures. Maybe I think this the, is a, the Florida I think thing. The that you dispersion I'm casting is he Are hides you? in the bushes and watches you make out. Are you appropriating the dick monster? I'm just Ooh. wondering. You know what? Yeah. I can't talk to you guys, but we'll say this. If we got the money, <laughs> could we make a make dick this monster movie? versus skunk ape? Are you pretending like that movie doesn't already exist? I... <laughs> <laughs> Let me rephrase that. The non-pornographic version of go. dick monster versus skunk ape. Why would you make dick monster non-pornographic is the first question. Exactly. How do you make Dick Monster on pornographic? That's what <laughs> well, he you know. just blurred the whole time. <laughs> I I, uh, I don't yeah. I can't argue that. Well, I mean, it's obviously it's gonna be NC seventeen, you know. Or we could do it claymation style, like the old Frankenbats, uh, like Rudolph and that's stuff. The, but... I think that's even worse. Like, <laughs> What's to make, to make it claymation? <laughs> yeah, I think that's even that's worse than I could ever in imagine. A, in a children's so. style, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Uh, we're gonna say it's like, hey, this is rated R. It's not for children. Yeah, this is 100% an anime project, is what I'm saying. Yeah, thinking. yeah. All right, fair enough. Fair I'm enough. pretty sure I've definitely seen a dick monster in anime before. Oh, yeah. So oh, for sure. Guaranteed. For sure. For sure. All right. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. So this one's not lamer. This next one. Definitely not. Does nothing. So, like, there is definitely no way you can say this isn't lame and, like, Donkey Lady might be a little bit cooler now. Mm, we'll see. Uh, well, I assumed it, you were going to talk about the Donkey Lady again. <laughs> yes, yeah, isn't this the lamest? She attacks ever? cars. The poor lady was turned into a donkey ghost, a spirit of vengeance. Dave attacks cars. Fenders. Yeah, it leaves it leaves hoof prints. What is she? A country singer? Isn't that like what they're, like their thing? <laughs> no, <laughs> I think it is. For this next cryptid, we're going to go to a land that we have never visited in the Campfire Tales. Ooh, we get to piss off a whole new group of people. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to head over to China. Oh, yeah. perfect. Uh-huh, uh-huh. This cryptid is from China and it is called, which I'm about to butcher the shit out of. Guaranteed. The Jinmenju. It sounds like my dog breed, but that's <laughs> It sounds super racist. It's like, Shin, yeah, Shin, yeah, that's I was just going to say. Shinmen, Shinmenju. Oh, that has Shin. I thought it was Jinmenju. Well, J- J- J-I-N-M-E-N-J-U. Shinmenju? Jinmenju? Jaimenju? <laughs> yeah, just sp- uh, spend the next five minutes just working it out. <laughs> okay, <thank you. laughs> we'll wait. We'll wait. I appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> but this is in China. Uh, basically, 
Oh, it this is. is. It's Jin Menju. Jin Menju. Oh, okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Let's see that. Hey, J I N M E N J U, right? Yeah, but that might not be how you pronounce it. I, I did pronunciation. Oh, com. nice. Hey, hey, Dave. I'll be waiting for your, your apology in the mail. Okay. <laughs> okay. You, you wait. Wait uh, by the wait by the mailbox. But I'll hold my breath. Till I, I get it. Don't apologize, because literally all you had to do was Google pronunciation and stuff. Exactly. exactly how I'd say it. Listen, like, I'm a, I'm a man that just I just go head first in that brick wall. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, basically, all this cryptid is it is a giant tree that when it grows fruit. Sorry, the, veteran donkey lady. The fruit has well, how the, you know it does do this tree. It but, bears fruit. It it yeah. provides. It, it bears fruit. Sustenance. But the weird thing about this fruit is that it has a human it's face. Penis, it's penis flavored. And <laughs> she's already hundred percent cooler than the. And donkey. yeah, well, just it wait. It has a human face. And you know when the fr- face fruit is ripe because it starts giggling, and they claim you know when you're coming into a forest of these during the ripe season, because you'll hear a bunch of laughter coming from the trees. Uh, they believe that these are living fruits, but many have claimed to have eaten it and say that when it's ripe, uh, it is sweet and sour, and as you're eating it, um, the fruit will moan and cry, as well as all the other ones in the tree. But doesn't do anything. Be he killing them while like he's eating it, and they're all watching him eat it. That's it. And they believe that like there are some force you may you may go to force. There'll be hundreds of these just just grown. Hundreds of these. Yeah, just grown. Do they just talk? Do they chat with each other? They laugh. They only they giggle. Laugh, they yeah. only giggle or moan or, or cry while cry. you're eating it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. These might be the coolest cryptid we've talked about. How so it doesn't do anything but laugh and cry. Exactly. Wait, not all cryptids do something. <laughs> what it like? What does like the Loch Ness monster do? Uh, swim around. Yeah. Okay. This tree grows faces. Face fruit. And, that's pretty. And, that's pretty. Provides food. A donkey lady yeah. puts dents in cars. She doesn't Ooh. do anything productive at all. Literally nothing productive. She guards her bridge. Wait, See, this doesn't do anything productive. They all guard their bridge. He makes every, fruit. Every cryptic fruit guards is the, the bridge. He makes food, and people need food to live. So uh, uh, your your argument is null and void. So, but it like do, do people so, need dents in their car to live? I don't think so. Let me ask you a question though: Does people need to eat a fruit that cries while you're eating it? Well, what if no. it gives you magic powers? You don't know. No one's got magic power from it. That's How do you not know? in the legend at all? Do you know they haven't got magic powers from it? They haven't said they got magic powers. That doesn't mean they didn't get them, right? <laughs> wow. The I it's absence a tree. of evidence is not evidence it's of absence. It's a tree that you does want, nothing. You want me to think that mm-hmm. the visual of a tree, and it could be any kind of creepy, huge tree that is growing faces that, that can giggling. like scream, giggling first and then screaming and crying to eat them. You want me to think that's not cooler than a fucking donkey lady? Are you insane? Like, are you insane? But like, it's, and the then a tr- forest, a forest of them. I'm sure the trees aren't ugly looking trees because if they're laughing, I'm assuming they're that's even they're better. Screaming, they're also screaming and crying when you eat the them. Old, yeah, but like they they say like you shouldn't You're eat them. You're murdering them. Like this is like yeah, that's way why, cooler than a donkey. According lady to the legend, car. they yeah. say yeah. it's bad karma to eat them. You shouldn't eat. Well, yeah, because oh, it's shit, a you're it's killing a face them. fruit. I mean, <laughs> but like, some, like, but <laughs> apparently, from what I read, some people are like. Fuck I'm pretty it. sure it's bad they karma sound delicious. to go out on the street and stab people also. I mean, we're, like, we're, of course it's <laughs> yep. bad karma. All right. All I don't right. think I... you know what a lame cryptid is, Eli, because this one sounds pretty awesome. <laughs> it's just a tree. No, it's not. It's no, awesome. It's not. <laughs> oh, my God. I, oh, I it's just it's, a tree. It's producing it's life. Like, it's a tree yeah. producing life. All Come trees on. produce life. Yeah, but I'm just, met, yeah, but okay. But <laughs> not all trees produce face fruit. Exactly. <laughs> you got me there. Especially self-aware conscious face. Right. Me. So so far, this is the list of the coolest cryptids we've covered. <laughs> so, there is no way in hell. <laughs> Wait, are you saying okay, the Loveland Frog yeah. more than Bigfoot? Yeah, run around doing fire. The Loveland people. Frog just likes to party. <laughs> does, does, Big, does Bigfoot have a sparkler? I don't think so. He's <laughs> you know, a tobacco. So, you know what's cool about the Loveland Frog? Coming. You know what's cool about the Loveland Frog is that he would never try and compete with the Bigfoot. He just wants to right. live his life. He's like, hey, he's man, not out here comparing just, himself. He's, to he's running around with his wand. With my magic wand. Exactly. Just doing some stuff. 
Just leave me be, you know. And yeah. you know another thing's cool about him? He's amphibious. Can Bigfoot breathe underwater? I don't think so. Exactly. Yeah, Boom. but he got an iguana got killed because of his shenanigans. Well, iguanas are gross. So no, he didn't. <laughs> People are just stupid. Yeah. yeah. He had nothing to do with this. Don't blame him. Yeah. <laughs> blame any iguanas for your nonsense. Yeah. This yeah. Is ridiculous. His existence did not create rednecks. <laughs> <I'm pretty sure>. <laughs> <laughs> I like, are you saying like the, the Oviedo dick monster? He'd go toe to toe with the Wendigo. Sure. Probably. No. I have to imagine that that dick monster is pretty slippery. I mean, I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> it depends. So, oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't even. And like this tree apparently is the coolest cryptid you've ever heard of in your life. It is. It's awesome. This, yeah, you know, this how, tree. you know how badass it is to be like, I eat a, a face fruit, like, <laughs> you know, what I mean? and it screamed the whole way down. Like, that should be that you should record that and make it a, a uh, metal song, like, that's how awesome that is. I, are you kidding me? Fruit? Like, yeah, yeah you Eli, I mean, Eli, I'm not angry, I'm just kind of disappointed. I would have never pegged you. As an ant hater, but here you are. Could, oh, for, those aren't a, ants. That, those nope, aren't, yep, the yep, tree yep, is yep, not nope, alive. Nope, sorry, the fruit's alive. That's not an ant. It is. It's, it's on an, public it's an record mother. now that you hate. The no. tree is alive. Of course, the tree is alive. Well, I mean, it's just a tree. Like the tree doesn't. I didn't know you hated any. Lord of the Rings. Eli. I, oh my ignorant. god, I do not. <laughs> Especially that's why I'm saying this is not it's an ignorant. You know what? Maybe it's an it's an ant spawner. You don't know where it's an ant mother. Yeah, yeah, ant mother. So deal with that. That's how we, that's where the and then Eli thinks they're the you'd dumbest, probably take, lamest you'd things take on the planet. The ring right to Sauron. Can we get to the best one? The best if, one's coming. If for me. you guys were you're, with you're me, you're gross, Eli. I'm you're saying gross. if this was Lord of the Rings and you guys were you're with gross. me, I would most yeah. certainly take that ring to Sauron. And I'd be like, uh, I think bro, just chosen in the way. Guess what? Eli. I don't that's even know what that reference means. Let's. Oh my god! All right, we do got one more to talk about. Eli hates hints. This is. You saving but, the best for last. Saving the best one, for last. It, I mean, I got I got to change my background for this one. Based on I these other that. three, this one has to be awesome. Actually, so uh, <laughs> this this is one that has taken Jamie this by is, storm. It's, yeah. it's surprisingly, if you for my if sister, you, if too. you look, <laughs> if you look at like a bunch of lists of lame cryptids, this is number one on most of those lists. <laughs> this is in our in uh, Jeff and I's neck of the woods of Pennsylvania. Um. This sad, sad little cryptid uh, is seen, it found in northern PA it, within Hemlock Forest. It was first discovered in 1910 as the timber and hunting industries became very started becoming uh, industrialized in Pennsylvania. And uh, one day, as a timberer is how he was described, which I don't think that's right. I'm gonna say fucking lumberjack. Uh, as a lumberjack was doing his lumberjack stuff. Uh, he comes into, uh, into some brush and sitting there was what he described as a pig-like creature whose skin did not fit as it was just folded and loose and saggy, covered in warts from head to toe, crying very hard. Just crying. Just crying. Just sitting there crying. My little just, my little emo <laughs> cryptid. Just sitting there crying. And then uh when he walked up to it to see what it was to get closer, the crying uh creature, which he described as sadly staring at his reflection in the pool of his tears, <laughs> looked at him, looked up at him, and then dissolved into his tears. And when this happened, Eli. Did you tell the lumberjack about the goat that had just stole your mm -hmm. pants? Okay, first off, I am not <laughs> the squonk, which is the name of this creature. How dare you? Say it How again. Dare you? The squonk. Wait, spell it. S Q U O N K. A squonk. Oh, squonk. There's an mm -hmm. N in there. I just I couldn't tell. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it has been seen many times over the years. Same thing. It's just crying in the brush, staring. Sadly, it's reflection. People resume it's upset because how ugly it is. And when they get close, wow, uh, <laughs> that's ignorant. Uh, when they get close, it dissolves in his tears. One man even claimed to uh, hoax it into a, a burlap sack. But then when he got <laughs> home, the sack was all wet. Wait, and, tears, and the squawk was gone. 
it's really presumptuous of people to assume that he just thinks he's ugly. So he's exactly. crying. maybe like maybe someone broke his heart. Yeah. I mean, he's so emo. Like maybe he know. thinks everybody else is ugly. That's why he's yeah. crying. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he's I, just upset at the violence of humanity. Yeah, I don't know about you, Jeff, but uh, when I was a kid, we had family uh, in Pennsylvania, and the joke they always played, like your first time there, was they would say they would give you a sack and a stick and tell you to go squonk on. No, they wouldn't. Really. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't it, squonk. It was ours snipe. Was, it was snipe our, oh, yeah, ours yeah. was ours was squonk. Like it was squonk. That's why I knew about it. Uh, I think I think we need to add one more cryptid to this list, and that's Eli because he's definitely the lamest cryptid. <laughs> I am not <laughs> a lame cryptid. <laughs> I but, never heard nobody going squonk hunting. I've yeah. heard snipe hunting. Well, no, they they live they live like northern PA, and like that was their thing. And this is where this is found. So they always have squonk. There's Never numerous, heard of that there's life. numerous squonk. It sounds like because they dissolve, they just disappear. Or is it the same one that he well, just they, reappears? And they don't, they don't you know. Hear him crying in like the mm-hmm. wind. They, they you hear know. him. They is don't that know. Squonk eye. They don't What's know. The plural of squonk, squonkers, squonks. Is he still seen today? Uh, I when I I saw it hasn't been seen in some time. I think the last when I if I remember correctly when I was looking, the last sighting of him was like in like mid two thousands. Can I go find him? Where is he? Northern PA, anywhere there's a hemlock it's forest. Northern, anywhere there's what? A hemlock, hemlock forest. He's been seen all across northern Pennsylvania, as long as there are hemlocks around. I don't know what a hemlock is. A tree? Like it's like a pine tree, like yeah, thing. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh, so he's attracted to a certain tree. Well, if I plant ha- one, if they're... I plant one, will he come here? Like, no, because I, like... I think he hide. Like when they grow, they kind of grow dense, and he, I think he likes to hide in them so people can't see because how ugly is. That's how ugly he so is. he can so he can cry. <laughs> They're also Treed. poisonous. Maybe he's just waiting to. Yeah, end it yeah. Up. I'm thinking the trees lady. are poisonous. Mm. Hemlock, so hemlocks are here. Yeah. Oh, so he. I'm thinking donkey. I mean, if you eat them, not yeah. just being around them, you have to eat hemlock. But yeah, it's a trap. Then he's like, he's luring people. Yeah, in. yeah. I'll, he see? wants you to feel bad for him. He's, he's awesome. like, he wants someone to so come here, care about him. Jam hemlock down your throat. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Who yep. knows? I. You know what? All I know is donkey lady will kick this thing's ass. No, 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 she had a chance. No, no, no way. Oh, it doesn't no sit way. there and cry. Donkey Lee kicks it and cries and it vapes. What do you, he has, he, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this guy can teleport, he can disappear. What, yeah, he disappears, the, reappears. I mean, like, yeah, like what, what do you oh, mean? He dissolves in his tears and lures like, you, you into know poison what? trees so that you just die. All she like, has to what? do is not go to her bridge, like because she's lame as hell. That's why, like, <laughs> he's so, done zero property damage. Yeah, mm-hmm. yep. Oh, he, he got that guy's car. bag wet. <laughs> okay, <So, laughs> he's just washing it for him. <laughs> uh, yeah. he went in this bag willingly. He's probably, he probably, he I probably didn't want him to get that hemlock sap, so he washed the uh, the sap off of it for him. Yeah, the want coaxing into a bag that's is not willing. That that's guy a trap. said that was he, a trap. That guy said he like opened the bag, like coaxed him in, he walked right in. Oh, mm-hmm. I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's his word against the squonk, I guess. Squonk. That, yeah. that, <laughs> yes, that, that is true. That is that is very true. That is very Why true. Why do you hate cryptids so much, Eli? I love cryptids, but these ones are lame. Okay. No, they're not. Uh, these these, are, these awesome. are awesome. These are lame. You have a frog that had a wand and lost it. No, he didn't lose it. He still has it. It's in his he, pouch. It's never been we seen didn't again. Do this. I can count at least three we've done before this that were much lamer than these. Yeah, what? Yeah. What three? Okay, <laughs> donkey lady. How dare you? Mm-hmm. Donkey Candy lady. lady. How dare you? <laughs> and donkey lady again. <laughs> How dare you? Donkey lady is cool. Okay. She's not. She's not. She's Why is this the hill lady? you want to die? <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> why? Let, well, let, let's uh, flip the table on it. Why is she so cool, Eli? What does she have on you? Does she Proof. have compromising photos the, of you? Or something? Listen, oh, yeah. The, about. the burden yeah. of proof is on you. <laughs> well, why because, is she like, cool? because she is so petty, right? She's like, I'm going to put a little host at your car. You some bitch because you're on my bridge. So that makes oh, it cool. It's, yeah, it's all coming into clear Plenty picture of people now. Are petty. Eli relates to her too much. Yeah, like, <laughs> this petty energy aligns mm-hmm. with the donkey. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent. He's the donkey what she's putting down. I was relate a donkey to the lady swap, your mom, Eli. Like is that what is? Oh, is that why you? Is that why you're so uh, enamored with her? Donkey lady is cooler, bro. She's not. She's not. You've you've not named one thing that made her cooler. Or cool at all, let alone cooler than Ethan's. <laughs> she's a human who's part donkey. 
Yeah, that doesn't. That sounds terrible. <laughs> and she runs really fast. That's like your earlier arguments in defense of moles. And like well, your yeah, whole argument. Like, and like her whole thing is, she stares at you intently from Ooh. the brush, and then you start to drive away. She runs up and like moves your car and leaves little bits. <laughs> <laughs> what sounds cool about that? Repeat that again. <laughs> Listen to it. Hey, it sounds like the coolest time to me. At least okay. she didn't lose a magic wand. Better than Petty trees. That have... <laughs> yeah. she, didn't, she didn't lose a magic wand. Do you ever is... think maybe it's a magic wand and it can disappear and reappear whenever he wants? But it is, a... by definition, a magic wand. Yeah, but like if you have a magic wand, yeah, why would you walk around all, all the, time? the time? Spraying sparkles. Hell yeah. Not spraying sparkles. Why are we doing crazy shit? He probably is. Why? How I would, do you know I would listen. It? If I had a ma- magic wand, I would legit take over the world. You legit. know why you don't have a magic wand? <laughs> why is that? Because you're not a frog man. So. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> And he doesn't it's wear too pants. much responsibility for you. Yeah, yeah. You say he doesn't wear pants. Doesn't That's wear your pants. problem with him. Well, <laughs> I, I just don't know where. If you're not going to hold the wand in your hand, where are you putting it? If you don't have pants, it's His a magic pouch. wand. It's a pouch. I didn't. He doesn't have to put it, it anywhere. Hair. Like you just frogs like, don't have pouches. Uh, if Harry Potter can summon his wand, so can Frogman. <laughs> Harry Potter doesn't summon his wand. It's always he in did. His hand oh, or did his you pants. ever see the Goblet of Fire? Hello. He Boom. summoned the goblet. Not his wand guy. He summoned his broom. Which isn't a wand. <laughs> and then he used the broom to go get his wand. Oh, so he already had the wand in his hand. <laughs> Are we arguing anything in Harry Potter? Like, <laughs> no, no, no. Listen, I know if there's if there's three things I know in this world, okay. Babies can't walk backwards. <laughs> Dogs can't Hor- look up. Horses, horses can't, look, can't up. look up. Also, and if anybody's saying that, yes, they can. I don't know if you saw, uh, they realized today that I boozoo deer in Africa. Can't look up, which is why every time cheetahs hunt them, they hunt them from trees. They, they, well, they, they jokes on you. Week. Nobody's taller than a horse, so you can't tell if they can look exactly. up. There are people taller than horses. But horses can look up. That's the they other thing. Can't look up. Everybody knows yes, that. they can. can't Greater look up. Degree, it's false. They're not an owl. It's false. <laughs> and number three, if you have a wand, you got to have some kind of pocket to hold in with pants. Everybody knows that. Three you days. can't put it in a pouch? He's not. He, he had nothing. No pouch on him. No, oh he God, has a pouch. He has a pouch in his body. Frogs yeah. don't have body pouches. This one does. Why? He's a fucking cryptid. He walks on two legs. My God. Yeah. He oh, has I'm his own sorry, pouch. Uh, biologist Eli, <laughs> frog expert. Uh, no, frog cryptid expert. He's a nonsensical frog cryptid, yeah, being, like, being. Listen, I don't know if you guys realize this or not. I'm kind of a big deal in the field of cryptozoology. Okay. So, so let me just clarify. <laughs> It's a frog, uh-huh. bipedal. Yes, correct. That's yes. four feet tall. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's been seen walking across the street. Yep. calmly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and your issue with him uh-huh. is that uh-huh. his magic wand reality yeah. mm-hmm. is inconsistent. That is correct. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Do you ever think maybe he can uh, control frogs and the frogs bring him his his magic wand? But they never, like that? but they didn't see any frogs around. He is the frog. It's dark and frogs are small, so. When did we disagree mean, that it was just a sparkler for the occasion? <laughs> you mean to tell me that if if you see a giant frog walking around, uh-huh. Uh-huh. the only thing you're going to be worrying about are the little frogs bringing him his magic wand? <laughs> like, <laughs> I, mean, I guess not. You know? I guess not. See? Yep. I guess not. Yeah, when did we decide? But how do we even know it's a magic wand? And like you guys exactly. said, it wasn't just celebrating Fourth of July it's because it's sparkler. the only time that he had it. So why That's is it true. even a magic That's wand? True. Yep. Like, who would have given him a sparkler? Oh, you George fucking Washington. kidding me right now? That's your new <laughs> argument. <laughs> I'm pretty I, sure it was probably George I Washington. I still so. think exactly. the, George the, the Banana oh Washington. Yeah. I'm I'm tell you, do you know I'm who the frog man is? <laughs> a frog picking up a sparkler. Let's just, let's just say, is 100 times more realistic than a frog having a magic wand. So That's if you're going to question where he got this sparkler. I like, I like how you put a nominal value, like a hundred <laughs> times more realistic. I will say this. I think the most shocking thing about tonight is nobody else here knows the wind in the willow. No, that's the Sorry. dumbest thing I've ever heard. I don't know. It was a is. really good book. It was like a kid's book from like the early 1900s. Like there's the cartoon. You wind know, a book I do love though is uh, 
Lord of the Rings, uh, which yeah. have ants, which obviously you hate. Those so, trees are not but, ants. Uh, the Lord of the Rings the is a great story. I think you should read sometime. Does in not life. have a got a beautiful, beautiful nature yeah. against yeah. Uh, in, industrial it's age a, story that uh, it might do you a lot of good since you're obviously a tree hating. Um, <laughs> I'm not a tree hating. I'm. It's lame that it grows. Yeah. No, don't. Lord of the Ring isn't lame, Eli. Don't say that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Do you think um do you think uh Eeyore is based on a squonk? Mm. Or maybe a squonk mm-hmm. is based on an Eeyore. Mm-hmm. How long ago was Eeyore mean? Uh well, Winnie the Pooh is pretty old, if I remember. Yeah, correctly. no, I don't I don't know the year. Uh, let me look. Let me look. How, how old is Winnie the Pooh? It's the late eighteen hundreds, wasn't it? Is it? How old is Winnie the Pooh? Oh, that's right. The squonk was what? 1910? No, Winnie the Pooh was created in 1926. So the squonk was out before Winnie the Pooh. So, so A.A. A. Milne, A. A. Milne was like, oh, I love this squonk, but he's too ugly. So I'm going to make him a little donkey instead. Because have you heard about donkey lady? He said, we're going to make him a donkey. Oh my God. Boom. Look at that. Because George that. Washington... Owned the bridge and used his magic wand he stole from a frog. Except Christopher Robin. If you don't it. even know the legend, Eli, don't try to restrain <laughs> it. <laughs> just saying. What would George Washington be doing with a magic wand? Now that's just ridiculous. Yeah, yeah I mean, he need right. one. I mean, right. what's he need a magic wand for? You're right. Hey. You're right. So, Gee, I think it's more there. realistic that it was a sparkler. Because they were yeah. celebrating uh, the Fourth of I July. Think it was. Independence that's Day. why you didn't see it. Mm-hmm. That that's why the other people didn't mm-hmm. see it. Now it's like August. Why would he be carrying around a sparkler? It's over. He already celebrated. Yeah, come on, Eli. It doesn't make any sense. It'd be like somebody running up to you right now, Eli, and saying, "Hey, where's your trick or treat bag?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's your Christmas? What are you tree? talking about? Yeah, I'm like, anybody, <laughs> has anybody done that to you recently? No. Well, well, his sparkler that, that was is. also in his house. Uh, I rest my case. Exactly. That case doesn't make sense. <laughs> that case doesn't make sense. It makes complete sense. We I'm just, just we just we just told you why it makes sense. You take these four. Why would he have a sparkler right? out in the middle of summer or in the middle of uh, winter or whenever he was cited? When was he cited? Uh, July fourth. Obviously, July fourth. Yeah, nineteen fifty-five. Yeah, July fourth. Okay, 1955. okay. July fourth. Pray. All I know is right. <laughs> if you're comparing these cryptids to some other ones out there. These ones are lamer than other ones. And there I think are these much, are the much coolest. lamer ones. I think these are the coolest <laughs> ones we've I'll ever say, heard of. I'll say, hey, Dave, I'll say this, right? Of all the lists I found, Donkey Lady and Kitty Lady weren't on a one of them. Because you they don't why? even exist. They They're don't even lame. qualify That's, for yeah. lists. You know what was surprisingly... <laughs> They're not even cryptids. They're just things. <laughs> you know what was surprisingly on a lot of lists, which I was kind of surprised that was on these lists? The squonks. No, Thunderbirds. <laughs> Most people thought Thunderbirds were lame. Yeah, and I was like, Thunderbirds aren't lame. <laughs> like they're giant ass like lightning eagles. What's like la- what's lame about a an eagle who can shoot lightning? I think in the 50s and 60s, Thunderbirds were pretty cool, but in the 80s, they got pretty beat out of shape. I mean, the designs Ford was coming out with in the 80s was really stupid. You should be ashamed of yourself. I'm not. You should be you know, <laughs> your home state of Tennessee. Uh, has its own Thunderbird that flies yeah, around north of Tennessee him all the time. Yeah. Oh, you, yeah. You got your best friend with this lightning giant lightning you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I commute back and forth to work. Hey, you you ride an eagle. Yeah, the dick monster takes care of him for me. That's in Florida. You don't live in Florida. Uh, they're not all in Florida. I mean, I'm pretty sure eagles can fly to Florida. Exactly. You know, yeah. oh, they can't, in they can't Lord of the Rings, out. Eli, there are these things called great eagles. Yeah. Yeah. And they can cover. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you guys are the worst. The worst. I, I, I mean, they can they can fly to Florida, but the giant eagles can't I'm fly to Mount Doom you know for some I'm, reason, you know except start, at the end. How yeah. dare you, first off? How dare you? Secondly, you know what I'm starting to realize with you guys? I could literally do an episode we're awesome on yeah. a shit sandwich, and you guys would defend it. Of course. You're, it's taking you how many episodes I'm to even realize this? to teach and educate you guys so that when you go out in the world, you're respectable. We're just trying to educate you. Yeah, That's but why does, why does your education require me to judge one cryptid against another? Yeah, you also just said you're trying hey, to educate us. I just us. want to live in listen, peace with all of them. You said to respect, but you're listen, not respecting them at all. I'm so not. A, I, I, I do cryptids. respect. I respect oh. how lame they are. They're, no. Yeah, they're you're not like lame at all. 
Yeah, you're, you're not, not one cryptid on way this. of cryptid yeah. education. Not they one cryptid on this purpose. was lame. Not one. Not one of them was lame. Mm-hmm. We love them all, yeah. mm-hmm. except uh, the donkey lady. Yeah, I, I just don't know why. You know, poor donkey lady. So wait, so you're saying not to judge a cryptid to be nice to them, right? As you turn around and judge donkey lady, so Ast- we said don't, don't judge the cryptid. Asterisk, except the donkey lady. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because I think, I think we can all, you know, and I know Eli will argue against this, but I think Jamie and Jeff will agree with me. Mm-hmm. I think we've all had a separate meeting and decided that Donkey Lady has lost her cryptid certification. Yeah, yeah. What she's is it? Was she Pluto? Yeah, no, she's, she's, just a, an, she's just an id. Yeah. <laughs> she's garbage. Yeah. That's what yeah. she is. It's a trash kid. Trash, yeah, trash. Yeah. trash. You know, I, I'm taking this as a personal challenge. Okay. That I need to find a cryptid labor than donkey lady. You're not going to do it, so you might as well just hang it up now. Does does the term quixotic mean anything to you? Nope. (laughs) Okay. Nope. If it starts with Q, I don't know what that word is. (laughs) What? What? (laughs) If it starts with a Q, I don't know. I don't know what it is. That's not a real letter. Fake news. <laughs> so, uh, Jamie, what chances of you thinking you get a squonk for your birthday? I wish. <laughs> I did look for plushies, Jamie. It might happen. Oh. I, oh. I, I, I Eli, thought... you're the closest right now. Well, you and Jeff. So, mm-hmm. I mean, you guys got to go. I, I've find never him. seen like a like a, a squonk. No shit. No, well, <laughs> uh, the only thing I've ever seen is there's a beer company because uh, Jeff and I saw it down in um, Mothman that. The squonk is their like yeah. mascot. That's adorable. But like, they are they at least know. from Pennsylvania? <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I didn't ask them. There was like there was like three or four breweries that like made a like their mascots were cryptids. Because oh. Jeff and I sat there. Were, one of them was like this like lizard fella, and Jeff and I sat on yeah. him. Like yeah. he had they had a little like this little mini lizard statue, and we we both sat <laughs> on. <it. laughs> That was after. Are the you guy. sure it wasn't a frog holding a sparkler? I'm I'm positive, no. unless the guy that was dressed like the Men in Black but was not wearing a shirt under his suit jacket uh, <laughs> slashed our brains and maybe we didn't realize. It's possible. It's very yeah. real possibility. Yeah. Is that why you think the uh, donkey lady's cool? Because that guy slashed your brain. No, but you know what though, I I I kind of would like that Loveland frog more. If he either had the wand or like oh, they saw him in wizard robe, it's a That's sparkler. All. It's a sparkler. It's not a wand. Okay. Yeah. It, it, how cool would it be to have a giant ass frog in wizard robes? That's all I'm saying. Would and I be? still can't believe, Dave, you don't know what the wind in the willow is. I just can't, in good nature. You, believe. Dave, you. How could yeah. you not? It's always got to be targeted at me. <laughs> um, well, like, I'm just, I'm more concerned, at, you know, honestly, at this point, Eli, with your hatred for ants. I'm not, I do not hate <laughs> That is not an ant, is it, guy. I don't know what they've ever done to you to make that is a, a, a tree that just grows face fruit is not an ant. Face fruit. I, I, wait. So, Jeff, I can believe would 100% eat that fruit. But you do. You're not eating that fruit. Sure, I will. I you want to eat a fruit. Powers. Jamie's not. I'm you a vegetarian. Would, so, yeah. this is, this hits very close to home for our buddy Jamie. Wait, are we, are we assuming that these are meat fruits? Is that what we're? Well, like they're, they're living. Thing. They're living. Are we just talking in sex- sexual innuendos at this point? Uh, yeah, I didn't know what that like. <laughs> Is that what's happening? Because I'm on board. I'm, I'm on board. Uh, I see, Dave. I don't think you could eat one. I don't think you could eat something that'd be screaming as you were eating. Just, it. just turn it around. It would still scream. <laughs> I mean, you just you don't have to look at it though. <laughs> <laughs> wow! I mean, just got real in here. I mean, people people cook lobsters and those fucking scream when you when you cook them. So. Sure yeah, yeah, but like, yeah. I, what do you like, think about that? I think the difference is right. No, there's no difference. That's terrible. Well, I'm not. But I think what the difference is like with lobster, right? It goes in the pot with these face fruit. Its face is in your face, <laughs> screaming. As uh, you're turning like it around. Okay, it's still, like, but then like, it's still screaming in your hands. Put it in a pot first. You're not great at logistics, are you? Like, but I it's mean, still screaming like, in your hands. Uh, what? Oh, whoop. Okay, there we go. <laughs> but it's screaming. Your, it's not like put, it your, put, your finger in, put your finger in its mouth. Like, <laughs> like, oh my God. Wow. 
<laughs> I mean, I'm not kink shaming Jeff, but uh, got real in here. You, I don't know if I do you like make how... eye contact when you do that. I don't know if I like how fast you came up with that. You don't want to hear a fucking scream. Put your hand in his mouth. Like I, I don't know how comfortable I am. How fast you came up know. with that? And here comes the dick mm-hmm. monster or whatever he is. What is it? <laughs> the Oviedo dick monster. Oh Oviedo yeah, he's dick all right. Monster. He's dick monster. Okay. What do you think you would eat? Screaming fruit? Me? Are we talking in windows again? I don't know, because she's saying, like, <laughs> we're, we're talking about eating fruit, and then the dick moths are coming. Like, the dick moths are coming to eat fruit? That's a different kind of situation. <laughs> That's Squonk ain't got no warts. Uh, that? Maybe they take good care of themselves. Maybe certain squonks have a better uh, beauty regimen than others. Mm-hmm. Then I don't think it would cry if it did. We don't know why Again, he's crying. It's very presumptuous. <laughs> every, listen, everybody, everybody that when they talk about this thing or bring this thing up, right? It's all it cries because of how ugly it is. No, they're just they're just projecting that. Exactly. Everybody's like it's covered. It's like it's covered in words. Some people is even claim that when they see it, it has cauliflower ear. So it's got, <laughs> so like it's like this. Oh, uh, so it's a wrestler now. No, it's gonna say, it's it's a wrestler. <laughs> Does it have ringworm too? Like <laughs> maybe. Hey, maybe you know what? Maybe that's why it's crying. It just lost a big match. Ain't gonna make yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah, exactly. not because he's ugly. Oh my god, how great would that be? Right, you're walking through the forest. You come across a clearing. There's this big, flappy skin, wart covered cauliflower <laughs> ear pig in a little singlet. Just sacks it lost the wrestling match. Yep. <laughs> like Piglet. This sounds, I think we solved it. Wait, are, like Piglet? Are you saying Piglet was a wrestler? Maybe. I can tell you, I can tell you what that sounds much less stupid than. <laughs> what, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what, though? I don't care what anybody says. Donkey Lady is super lame, but mm-hmm. I found it. Like, you sure <laughs> did. My God. I just want to, like, for you folks out there listening, I guarantee you, you haven't listened to another <laughs> paranormal type podcast where they talk about the fucking doggy lady. Let's, yeah, let, let's clarify our terms here. Just because you haven't heard it from any other podcast doesn't mean that they didn't find yeah, they, it. They, they didn't Maybe find they just it found it and decided to skip mm-hmm. over it. Too lame. Just, they said no. this is too lame. You know what that proves about us? We're thorough. That's what that proves about us. <laughs> and did you call us a paranormal? A paranormal <laughs> I said paranormal, big words, paranormal, paranormal type. Paranormal. Yeah. It's paranormal. one of the big okay. words for a group that just talked about I mean, a dick monster. Yeah. I feel like, I mean, at the most, we're paranoia or paranormal adjacent. <laughs> well, yeah, you know. And paranormal. argued about a frog with, with a wand. <laughs> All I'm saying is, I would have believed it more if the frog had pants or a rope. Dude, and I go back and forth. pants? Why would a frog wear pants? Because where else is he going to put his wand? Enough with the He has a sparkler. <laughs> we already, okay. We've already discredited but your like, wand. Yeah, it's before. not a wand. Let go of the wand. Move Let on know. from the that, wand. That guy seemed pretty short. Did they happen wand. to find any burnt wires near the frog man? They did not. That's all I know of. Well, did they look for burnt wires? Probably not. So, boom, sparkler. <laughs> did they have sparklers in 55? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Of course. They were invented in 1919. Are, are you making that up? <laughs> yes. <laughs> They've been around since uh, the when Ming Dynasty. There is no since way that sparklers, sparklers weren't around in 1955. Yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> they were we around nuclear weapons listen, in 1955. Listen, guys. Okay. <laughs> sparklers were invented in 670 AD. So, see? <laughs> Boom. I'm so yeah, confused. So. I just looked up Lake Man, Frog Man, Pants. And I'm just confused by the images that it just came up. It's Did just a have- bunch of booty shots <laughs> of a frog. <laughs> no, oh, <laughs> I thought you meant like it was like frog booty. I was like, that's weird. Whatever you do, no. don't Google frog man and Eisenhower. I, I, just, not. I, I, I don't want you guys to Google that. So I don't want, <laughs> want you guys getting in. Trouble I don't know if I trust you telling me to Google anything when you literally Google. I said don't. I said don't. Monster. I didn't Google big dick monster. I just Google dick monster. <laughs> oh, either way. <laughs> either don't way. Google big dick monster. Yeah. Yeah. Don't Google dick monster. Either. Don't do that. <laughs> Especially not when you have your image. That field oh, on. <laughs> oh my all God. excellent advice that we're giving to everybody. Hey, listen. Uh, besides our paranormal expertise, <laughs> we also give the best advice here. Tactical cyber security term. Yeah. 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 
Where else are you going to learn these kind of things, right? About frog booties, what not to search on the internet. <laughs> frog booties? Yeah, yeah, because Dave found frog booties. Did accidentally. Yeah. To see a, a picture of a dick monster in your ba- as someone's background. I, I blame Eli for making me look up a frog with pants on because it's just I, the Did I ask idea. you? Hey, and when do the willow the frog wears pants? He also wears a little turncoat or, or a little petticoat. What's it called? Winnie the Willow. What do you get? Like a are you getting a percentage off of every book that's sold? No, but I just like that was a really good book. Like I was a kid, like I liked the cartoon. I'm just really okay. Is that like we believe you? Or is that like Froggy went a courting and he did ride or whatever? Uh I don't think so. You know what else is a great book, Eli? What's that? Lord of the Rings. Rings. I know it's my favorite book of all time. Why do you hate the ants so much? <laughs> don't hate the ants. And you obviously don't even know about the giant eagles. Uh, you, you probably know, you read this book. You know you what I guarantee don't. you you've done? You've probably read something like Bonicula and yeah. told everybody yeah. how much you I love Bonicula. I do too. Jamie you know, and I, I feel about this. personally, I know. Yeah, David, I feel personally attacked right now. We're bringing Bonicula into this. The eagles in Lord of the Rings don't shoot lightning. Hey, I bet you don't even have a sword, Eli. How about I that? do have a sword. <laughs> okay. Well, you I have you Jeff's yeah. sword. No, I have my sword. I bet you don't. So I, I have my we'll find out in I've September. No, I've never seen this sword. I've not. Yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see oh. what happens. <laughs> yeah. I've never me. even seen. You keep talking about this sword, but I've never wow. seen it. So. You, you would have to kill me. <laughs> Wait, you have seen the sword. You were with me when I bought it. You were you talking also... about the dick monster again. Listen, Is that what's happening? Yeah. <laughs> Jeff was also there on when guard we, when <laughs> I had this sword, a tire blew, and we were standing on the side of the the, the interstate, <laughs> and I had the sword out. Like waving on the side of the road. <laughs> this the all sounds like sexual stuff. innuendo again. How's that sexual innuendo? You're waving your sword on the side of the road. You, you and Jeff your, were out. You your tire blew. You took, took it out. Your sword out. out. <laughs> but I have a more non-sexual question. You took your fucking sword out on the side of the road while you guys were waiting for help, thinking someone's going to actually stop yeah, and help you. That's no, we, going to we, make we, somebody we stop. We called Triple A. A crazy man. Yeah. 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 No, Triple yeah. A is not stopping we, you well, when you're swinging your sword around, whether it's sexual or not. <laughs> no, they said it'd be like an hour before they got there, right? So I spent like five minutes eating my kettle corn that I got at the uh, Renaissance <laughs> Festival. And then I was like, well, that's been five minutes. Fuck it. Let's take a look at this sword. And when he's swinging around, Jeff, be honest, what were you thinking? What a thinking, moron. <laughs> I was like, man, I hope Triple A gets your shit. <laughs> <laughs> if he starts quoting Aragon to you yeah. or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I keep telling Mary I would like to mount in the living room. And she surprises again me keeps telling I, me no. I don't know what we're talking about here. I don't want to my sword. <laughs> mount in the living room. Huh? Yeah, I keep saying I want to like I want a plaque mount in the living room. And she says no. <laughs> yes, I'm sure she does. She says that's a basement thing. So <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's just hurtful. Which is hurtful. <laughs> I don't think I don't think he gets. Think we're he, we're not all having the same conversation. Yeah, I don't think anymore. he's. I, don't Listen, think I, I know I know what you got to do with your dirty <laughs> minds, and I am I'm ignoring it. Okay, you're, you're the one not. always talking about frogs without pants. Well, because exactly. frogs should have pants ground. to carry his wand. You know, <laughs> when's the last time you seen a frog with pants? <laughs> the last time I watched Wind in the Willow, which was. Oh my God, we're still like talking 20 about years ago. How are we book? still talking about a frog in pants or a wind <laughs> Like, I don't even, this is beyond, like. Yeah, well, you know what, that's all right. You know what, as we, as we get ready to wrap up here anyway. So what, wait, what was the plot of Wind in the Willow? <laughs> uh, if I remember correctly. Jeffy bastard. The frog, like the, it was a frog, in a, I think a mole or the frog and the rabbit. Or frog and rabbit were going to see the mole man. Or Mr. Mole, or whatever. Yeah, of course. It oh, was yeah. Mole. Yeah. I've, yeah. Yeah. I've read this. Yeah. I've, I, I, sorry. I'm totally familiar with this book. Um, I think there was a uh, a bear that found a pile of cocaine. Who is <laughs> waiting and, for it? Uh, no, like, I'm not, like, I'm not even kidding. Like, it's, it's, there's, there's a frog, a mole guy, a rabbit, a badger. A mole. Oh, yeah. And I think the, uh, the frog has a sparkler, right? No, mm-hmm. no. But they're like riding yep. a little carriage because I think they're going to see badger. Like, you have to, he owes Badger money or something? No, nah, oh, wow. a long time. What? That is no. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long time. You know, for somebody who talked about this supposed oh. wind in a willow a lot, you certainly know nothing about it. Like, oh, okay. uh, 
I don't mean to embarrass Eli on in public in front of our entire audience, but I just looked it up, and the first thing it says about it is that there is no frog in Wind of the Willows. There it's isn't a cartoon toad. It's or toad. Toad. whatever. Oh. You moron. No, that's whatever. different. That's different. You you know what, Eli? You disappoint. Wow, me. you you wait, defended this book wait. for the last hour, and you don't even know that there's not a damn frog in it's it. Also, oh, whatever. It's Mr. Toad. It's not like Mr. Toad from Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. It, it is. It's the same character. Yeah. Oh, Apparently. it is? Apparently. That yeah. Disney made the ride on? I've never been to Disney. So that ride is terrifying, by the way. Well, <laughs> Mr. Toad was terrifying think, from that. I think we're story. back on the dick monster again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think the most important thing about the wind in the willows is that the mole is filthy and disease ridden. You don't know that. <laughs> and a you, scumbag. You didn't even read it. You don't even know. Um, hey, as we're wrapping up, so Jamie, it is your birthday. Got anything exciting planned? um no not really my like you know it's a monday so uh maybe some dinner or something okay okay you know nothing okay. i'm not like the type to like go all out unless it's a big a big year but it's okay. not this okay. year so all right, Late, last year you went to costa rica didn't you no last year i went to disney, disney. but costa rica was the same year but costa rica was a, a summer trip. Was I, gotcha. I went to disney with my friends and family it was great we had like a big that's a awesome. large, a large group of people in Disney World, which was okay. my dream. Okay, um, right. you should, it is. You uh, read "Wind in the Willow" for your you birthday. For my birthday, yeah, you should read it. You really uh, should. You're going to get a, several copies. You're going to get. Yeah, several yeah. Copies. You, you should read it, and then also, you know, obviously, ask everybody. Apparently, you want a big crying flabby pig for. I do want. Yeah, your, that's, your yeah. birthday. So ask that for everybody. Yeah. Just, just be prepared. There's not a fucking frog in it. <laughs> frog toad same thing guy it's not they're not the same uh, they're not do the same. they both look like frogs they do <laughs> no 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 one looks like a frog one looks like a fat frog i'm sorry you just argued for 45 minutes why it didn't have a fucking pocket for its one <laughs> but it's the, just it's all the same thing now <laughs> listen 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 uh dave i don't know if you've noticed right um when i argue my point all bets are off <laughs> But when you bring up a point, that care It's less. very hand wavy yeah. at that point. All right, mm-hmm. I'm just saying, you know, listen, there's only one of us here making smoke. <laughs> I don't need your smoke on my fire. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> hey, Jamie, is there anything you want to tell the fine folks? Anything you got going on besides your birthday? You want to tell us about? Anything nope. you want to talk about? Nope, I'm good. All right, fair enough. Uh, Jeff, you anything you want to tell Sorry, the fine folks my about? My birthday. There's a lot of stuff I'd like to tell the fine <laughs> folks about. <laughs> Run for your life. Yeah. Um, no, uh, if you like this uh, nonsense, you can listen to some more nonsense at uh, Lord Masters of the Absurd, um, Lord Masters of the Absurd dot com podcast, uh, Instagram, Facebook, uh, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, uh, Dave, do you want to tell the fun folks about the Wicked Wild? Sure, I'm going to start by saying, and I think the audience will join me in all of our combined positive energy going towards Jamie on her birthday. We hope she has an amazing day. I don't know. If you're going to do something special or not, just know how much we love you. And we hope you have a great day on your birthday. Thank you. And then as far as the podcast, you found us. So I don't need to tell you how to do that. We would ask you to subscribe if you'd like the kind of nonsense uh, that we're, <laughs> we're providing for you these days. Uh, if you want to review us, be kind. I mean, come on. Let's 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 do the five star thing or, you know, let's not put any more negative energy out into the universe. Let's, right. And it's April. That's what I want for my birthday. I want there some positive. April is spring. With comments, right, Jamie? With comments. I want some comments. Spring is a time of rebirth and wearing okay. pants. Or exactly. Nervous. And then like this uh, is a very specific brand of nonsense. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's niche for sure. Yeah. Uh, but if you want to follow us on social media, we're on Twitter at Wicked While We Are. And then we're on Slasher, which is the horror community social media. Uh, it's an app you can download. And we're at Wicked While We Are there. If you want to learn anything else specifically about us and congratulations to Eli. This week we got his, he and Jeff's guided tours of the Kecksburg Festival and the Mothman Festival. They're mm-hmm. up on the website now. You can go check those out. I told you. I told you. The wickedwild.com. I I told you you would have them. And just you know, like I just got over COVID. So while I was on my I'm like sorry. Yeah, let's fighting blame COVID. for my let's life. Blame COVID. No, yeah. I, I'm sorry. You told me I would life. have them yeah. in October yeah. of 2022. <laughs> I said and now you want to brag. I said I, I would start working on them <laughs> in October of 2022. It only took a year and one week yeah. to get them to you. <laughs> Look right. how but it's, that, I, but it's that extra week um, with COVID that really I'm, did. A, I'm a perfectionist, okay? Take some time. Hey, I wasn't going to bring it up, but you started it. <laughs> I mean, you know. 
hey. can tell by this show every week how, how much of a profession. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, you know, first off, wow, that that hurt. That hurt. <laughs> All right, wait, all those frogs and wind in the willow. Listen, mm-hmm. frogs are the same things. Uh, <laughs> hey, on that, everybody, thanks for listening. Uh, in the comments, just you can say you can agree with me, and these are really lame. Uh, it's donkey lady rules. Somebody send Eli a toad. He knows the difference. It better have pants. If somebody sends Jamie her happy birthday wishes on the comment on the day of this podcast releasing, I might put a couple of stickers in the mail to you. You got to wish Jamie happy birthday. Hey, if I have a friend who's no, like name is kind of similar, is like yeah, Shmeli, Shmeli, yeah. Uh, if if, if Shmeli don't want some decals, he has to wish Jamie happy birthday by his rating. <laughs> and what, what? But what if like he says, hey, can Eli, it's your no. cousin Shmeli. Can I? Can you just have the mail to you? Sure. Cool. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, on that note, everybody, uh, thanks for listening, and we'll catch you all next time.